They're taunting us with the dead here. What the fuck? Stop it. Uh, I know that is kind of rude, actually. <laughs> Way to remind me that my Why mama died. This? Yeah. Actually, I kind of forgot, and now I'm really sad. All that setup of, hey, mama. How you doing, mama? I'm never, I'm never. I love you, mama. I'm not going to call the new one mama. I'm not happy. She's not mama. She's not mama. So don't. I'm going to poop. Everyone. I don't expect me to call her mama. Mama, the fallen angel crying face. <laughs> oh. Did you see that email? Really? <laughs> it was an email that just came in. <laughs> I think uh, sending condolences via email is not the most classy thing. Well, no one leaves their houses in this universe because they all suck. It's just us. And when everyone else leaves their house, we have to carry them on our back. Yeah. That's what this world is. It's what we've come to as a people. I was in another one of those situations where I had to try to explain this game to somebody I know in real it life. It doesn't work. And I just, it's a really difficult. Married life, not what I expected. That was hilarious. Didn't we already read this one? Yeah, yeah, that was the one where the, he was Oh, like, it's the chiral artist. It's her. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, I want to read it. <clears throat> Dear Sam, did you meet up with Amelie yet? I hope she lives up to your memory of her when you finally do. I... Didn't get so lucky in that respect. <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> but I just couldn't live with him anymore. I went back to my mom's. What? It was terrifying making the trip on my own. She made the trip on her own this what time. What the fuck? By the way. Wait, what? But I watched the weather patterns for days and made it just barely. Maybe I should ask for help, but I couldn't bear to wait any longer. For your sake, I hope yours and Amelie's story has a happy ending. Oh my ending. god, it was a complete and utter failure and none of it worked out. Okay, there's like three things I want to say really quick. One, she's saying, I hope what? your and Amelie's story has a happier ending. She, isn't she my sister? Yeah, I keep. I know, I keep that's mentioning. That's really weird it's to always, say. It's definitely a creepy weird vibe with that sister thing. Um... Secondly, so she it took her days to get back home. It took us like five minutes. Yeah. To like get her there ourselves. No, I think in the universe, all these expanses are supposed to be longer than they are. I guess like, so. This one map is the entire central third of the United States. But but, but it's funny because like on your on your thing, it's like make this trip in forty minutes. You know, yeah, so it's like, like what does this every mean? Every time we go, you can cross this entire map in like ten minutes, basically. But this one map is apparently like thirty of the fifty states, basically. As far as I can get, estimate, like all the that weird spiral mess of stars in the middle. That's where we are. Yeah, it's confusing. It's I don't a, know. yeah. I don't know. But but I like how I like how she like risked her life just to get away from him. That was the third thing I was gonna say. Yeah, that's pretty funny. That's they didn't get along very. I had well, to travel for days seem. just to get away from him, and I was like, yeah, I know that. Something small and glowing down in the crater where Middle Knot City used to be. Is there something glowing there? Quiet BB isn't necessarily a good thing. Could mean the kid's suffering from autotoxemia. <laughs> maybe your kid finally stopped quieting, but maybe I uh, stopped crying, but maybe it's because it's dead. Yeah, way to make you paranoid Got as a parent. Sids. <laughs> Get caught SIDS, like that's an actual disease and not a catch all. The uh, Mama, the fallen angel. Mountain Knot City is now part of the UCA. Lockney explained about how it was all a big misunderstanding. What a relief. The tar's all gone, too, thanks to that bomb. This is going to sound weird. When you know the Elder Deck on Mama's left shoulder? Didn't used to think much of it, but someone told me it was a symbol of Mama's atonement. Even though her child was taken from her, Mama couldn't let go, so she instead broke her bond with Lockney. Could... Well, also, she was already dead, so if she broke her bond with her child, she was going to die, which is what happened, so not accurate read of that situation. Couldn't help but think of herself beyond redemption after that, like a fallen angel forever bar uh, barred from heaven, and wow. <laughs> I best the bow. I best have the you bow. Ever heard, have you ever seen that before? No, but I... Uh, but Abiza the bow. A beetle bomb. Uh, that one-winged fella who who followed Beezlebub. It is Beezlebub's next thing. <laughs> well, no, you said you're talking about Beetlebum, which is a song yeah. by Blur. Yeah. Beezlebub is like. A, but I almost said Beezlebub, and then a second later, the, the script actually said Beezlebub. That is pretty funny. Yeah. That was on the right line. That's why I was on the right line with the weird spelling of all that. Followed Beezlebub down to Egypt once upon a time. Guess Mom was going poetic when she redesigned her object. Uh, and used it to com comfort her child, her dead child. Strange, maybe. 
Though I suppose she was already dead herself. Yes, bum, we, bum, we got bum. that. We understand. Yeah, should tell previous paragraph guy that part. <laughs> I know, right? Looks like that. <laughs> like he's, he's I was just, I was just thinking that. I was like, he's like hmm. internally con- consistent of his own interpretation of what he thinks mom was like. Looks like it's all in the past now, though. The misunderstanding has been resolved and sisters are whole again thanks to you. <laughs> Mama finally worked up the courage to cut the cord and send her baby to the other side where it belongs. So the two, you, the two are one. The fallen angel got a second chance. Just as well, because no one's ever going to really be... No one's ever really beyond redemption, I'd like to think. She didn't need redemption. She didn't really she didn't do, do anything, anything wrong. wrong. She didn't do anything wrong. She just got hit by a rock. <laughs> How dare she? She was a human surrogate for somebody else's baby, and then a rock hit her, and she kind of died-ish. Or what, however you want to interpret whatever the fuck's happening at that point in the story. She explicitly did not die. BB? Is there no BB? Uh, what? Uh, what? Uh. Ooh, looking for this? Oh my gosh. Oh my Fragile warp. Don't me ever here. do that again. I finally got to visit the beach. Well, her beach. This is real. Don't worry. I didn't come all this way for the sightseeing. Your beloved BB has a serious issue. <gasps> He's crying again. Oh. Oh no, it's our Dead Man episode. What's his tragic backstory? Uh, is he gonna, gonna die We're gonna too? find out why his head was Call cut open. explaining that these incubators connect BBs via the chiral network to their still mothers back at HQ. Bridge babies are quite literally bridges between this world and the other side. Their place is not here with us, nor with the BTs over there. They belong precisely in between, with no greater affinity for one world or the other. But BB-28 here has been leaning further and further towards the world of the living. Towards you, Seth. Are we just gonna love him into actually being a real baby? He's like Pinocchio. <laughs> Sam, a BB's a tool, not a human being. It's literally a human being. It, yeah. Baby, no. Yes. Yeah. Literally a baby. That's why you call it bridge babies. Bridge, no. Baby, yes. <laughs> <laughs> this weapon is transforming into a living being. It's not a weapon. It's gaining weight. Its brain activity is increasing. It's accumulating memories. BB-28 is becoming self-aware, becoming an actual child. That just means, I could have never that just seen this means it's happening. a real baby. What are the chances? It doesn't sound like a problem to me. It's hardware, Sam. Manufactured for a purpose. So? A purpose that cannot fulfill outside the pod. There is a 70% risk of catastrophic failure simply in removing it. Which hardly matters because at this point, it'll cease functioning within a couple of days. No. Cease functioning? That's right. Not even the pod will be enough. It'll be bricked. What do we do? We reset it. You'll have to leave it with me, of course. No. I'll cut the cord that links the two of you and then perform an operation that reconnects it to the other side. Think of it as a little tug to correct its alignment. To put it back where it belongs, right between the world of the living and the dead. But like I said, you'll have to be without it for a while. You're sure this will work? Of course! One catch though, the surgery may erase its memories. Erase? Will forget me? Relax. The BB will still function as intended. You just have to trust me. Come on. Uh, I'm telling you, it's like a game. Just select me, try, and start again. Punch him in the face, Norman. No. Oh. You just got peed on by a baby. And this is why I hate these things. Ugh. You guys gave it a pee hole. <laughs> Did, was it established it had a pee hole? I don't know. I was already filthy from my trip through the beach. But now your BB has added insult to injury. Uh huh. Loser. No! <laughs> See no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. 
He's gonna take a shower. Oh my gosh. He's gonna take a Guillermo del Toro. He's gonna go, he's gonna go under that Guillermo del Torrent. Oh my gosh, <laughs> Pete. <laughs> that joke will never come up again because what are the chances? <laughs> What you you can like <laughs> you can make him take the shower? Uh, I'm gonna go take a shower while he's in there. <laughs> <laughs> Is this how my fan fiction starts? I'll help you wop, watch the watch watch all the the baby pee off, Gilmo. Oh my gosh! He, Is he just getting out of the way so I can take a shower? That's very. He, why didn't he just take a shower? He's just fucking standing there. He was just standing there staring at what the. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> no one can spy on us in here. It's just you and me. Oh my god! No audio records of what we say. No video for lip reading analysis. Get closer. Make out with me. A die hard man cannot know of this. Understood? It's happening. I've been doing some digging for the first BP experiments. Officially, they were suspended by the government following a void out which claimed the life of the then acting president. Documents were shredded. BB technology banned, yes? But obviously, the experiments continued in secret on the direct orders of President Strand. President? Excessive weight. The BBs were essential to solving the mystery of the Death Stranding. Oh, she had big plans for them. They weren't designed just to be BT detectors. She wanted to incorporate them into a chiral network to facilitate travel to the beach. But none of her plans ever came to fruition. And now BB Tech has fallen into terrorist hands. What's Die Hardman's part in this? I'm afraid to find out. I don't know how long he was working for Strand. I don't even know his real name or his face. I thought you might, since you two go further back. He was already wearing the mask when I met him. Something about burning his face. Right. Sorry. Any data we have from back then is classified at the highest level. As far as I know, the director is the only one with clearance. I love but how the Carl Network get. presents a new I'm opportunity. By compiling fragmented data in the public domain from all across the country, I might be able to piece together a little more of the puzzle. Be careful, Sam. They're watching. Well, Sam, you're a good sport. I'll give you that. What is that? <laughs> Still, it's a fine way to get out of doing the laundry. Sure. Just fix BB, all right? Oh, no. You'll be doing the fixing. I'd never manage without your help. <laughs> Check the delivery terminal upstairs for the details. When you're ready, of course. Can we not? What if we just don't fix BB? Well, I, I get the impression that you're not gonna fix BB. Yeah, was he j So is all of his- the, B the BB is not a human, it's just a tool for him just well, playing for the camera this whole time? That's what I'm really hoping. Cause because it's like I, cognitive, I wanna... it's cognitive dissonance like crazy, right? Well, but I, because I, I want to like his character, but I'm I, I dislike that part of his character with the whole like. Yeah. Obviously, obviously, it's a fucking the part baby. Where he's awful. I also want to point out that if if it has an umbilical cord, does it really need a pee hole? I don't know how does this work. I don't I don't know. It just somehow managed to like. To ah, whoa! Ah. Instant. So, the only things you can bring with you is yourself, and maybe a few other trinkets that are really important to you. Okay, close your eyes. Picture your destination. Hold it in your mind. Spooky. That was a cool... I liked that. That was cool. It's a nice little animation. It's like a compass slash weather vane. 
Hey, that's Guillermo from his first reveal trailer. Oh, you're right. You're right. It was. Oh, maybe this this is where we'll see that scene. Oh yeah. <gasps> oh yeah. Oh yeah. We're probably gonna get attacked again then. Uh yeah. But this because... time it'll be World War Two. The next war. Whoa. <laughs> As we all know, there's only been two wars. <laughs> In the whole world, in the history yeah. of the planet, only two. I just wanted to go back to the eastern region because I was under the impression we missed an area. Like an entire zone, we just never joined into our thing, probably because it wasn't a quest. Well, maybe eventually you'll have to go like down to like yeah. the Florida area, yeah, like, I don't or maybe know. like go to Texas or something. Like I don't know if you can only join something to the Chiral Network if you're sent there for a mission or not. I'm sorry, it's probably not called Florida or Texas, it's probably like... Bayou Not City. Bayou like, Not City. <laughs> uh, <laughs> South Not <laughs> 2. I'm a little concerned about something. In that cut, in that teleportation cutscene, he doesn't pick up BB. Oh. Do we leave BB at whatever place we teleported from? Is that a, like a limitation? Well, we she have? said you could. That was weird. Where's BB? Because she said something like you can take some things that the things that matter to you, like some trinkets and things like that. The Bayou so ate my BB. You have your toys and you have your beer. Yeah. Look how sad you look without your BB. Oh no! I'm gonna. Oh no! I'm gonna cry. I, wait. Maybe this is just oh. the part of the story where I don't get a BB. Oh no. <laughs> I don't like this. Beginning scan. I miss I miss BB. <laughs> There's no BB. There ain't no BB. Oh no. I have nothing with me. This is weird actually. So we're looking for a special guest star today. One that seems to be less noticed. It seems to have been optional, I guess. That's my best guess, at least. Is there anything in my- is there something in the garage? Well, I'm kind of... That- that, uh... That kind of piques my interest, Keith. That there's like a weird secret person? Is it- well... I get the impression there's probably a lot of weird... Oh, yeah, I wonder how many there might things be. things in this game. My dog just sneezed. Bless you, dog. <laughs> she, she liked that. So this is just like a specific cameo. I kind of became aware that we like just didn't find. Is it gonna be someone that was in the I first know? zone? I don't know. Um, mm. I don't know. I'm still interested. The audience will know, especially right around now. Like now, it like it, in current time. Uh, or I mean, now isn't in the in this recording. By the time this video comes out, like one week ago, will have been like the peak of this person's annual relevancy as a person. Oh, okay. Hmm. <laughs> like every year. Interesting. Every year, this person becomes uh, spotlighted for a while, and then kind of goes back for a bit. But he has a specific connection to. Hideo Kojima, which is why I wanted to find him. Okay. So well, I am I am interested, Keith. Capital Nut City. But he, so this is a weird Easter egg, in a game full of weird Easter eggs. But this one's like seems to be more secret. Is he the cosplayer? No. I want to see the cosplayer. Not a cosplayer. Is. Well, yeah, no, but, yeah. But we'll, we'll go check out the, like cosplayer, the cosplayer. We gotta go do their quest. Better go point. deliver something to a cosplayer. I want to see who it is. No, not that one. Damn it. So there's the special trick here, apparently, which is weird. You need to find cargo that's meant for this character, oh. and then you figure out where he is. Did you you found it? I'm working on it. <laughs> like this is cargo, but this cargo is for Capital Not City. I uh, I love things like this. Yeah, it's real specific. Hopefully, we find it, or then this isn't like a weird waste of an episode. <laughs> or what? Well, you know, that'll be fun. Well, I'll enjoy yep. myself, so... Yay! I don't know about you guys. <laughs> ha 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 I'm having fun. <laughs> and if nothing else, I might just stumble into him while I'm looking. If we're very lucky. I might just not even need... Uh, what would this say? Medical no. instrument. Something, something. I'm just already happy I got to see that cutscene where they... Uh, Gamble Toro and Norman Reedus got in the shower together. 
Me? Yeah. What, is, what is the likelihood of me ever seeing that, was that a lot in to any absorb. other situation ever again? Probably not likely at all. And I get to tell people that. <laughs> <laughs> so I was playing this video game, and uh, <laughs> Gamble the Toro and Norman Reedus get yeah. shower together. It's so like when that happened, I thought... I was... Sh I, oh, I'm gonna get attention here. The, the form that I don't want. Calm down. So I'm in a little trouble here because I can't detect the the oh, uh, no, I BTs. Oh no! forgot about that. Yep. Better go fast. BB, uh -oh. this BB. That's the specific bad thing. <laughs> We're fine. He's okay. my favorite character. Well, he's he's gone. And he's never coming back. Haha. <laughs> no, Loki. <laughs> you need BBs I already, I already lost to mama, avoid BTs. Okay. I already lost Mama. I don't want to lose BB too. I have no point. It's interesting going back to this map and kind of re-realizing how kind of small it was. But anyway, yeah, like when that was happening, I was so... I was so sure that it was just going to be a funny interaction. I just was like, ha ha, I can go. It has the option to click on the shower. I didn't, I didn't... I did not at all realize that he was baiting us into the shower. Because I guess there's probably nothing else you can do. Yeah. I mean, probably, if you if you go do other, it's like, like what else can you like do? Like he wanted to secretly talk to us, but we never established that being a, a, a demand or an option into beforehand. So instead, he just awkwardly stood in our shower. It was very and just awkward. Waited for us to decide to enter. Like he could have been there for hours. <laughs> like yeah. For, for all I know, he might have stayed there for hours if we just didn't immediately do that. Because yeah, he was waiting for us to join him in the shower well, so we could have our little like 1984 talk and that's the thing is i was confused because i'm like what is the necessity for like being all weird like this and like i'm like i thought that we were kind of like the, the top of the organization to some extent and that like like what we do is so important that like the idea that we have to hide from people within our own organization is like an unexpected element of all this I, like, I kinda... but i guess it's because deadman's suspecting hard, die hardman well, well, okay. Of or, being a bad boy. Well, maybe not even just a bad boy, but maybe just having, like, a differing opinion. Like, because cause I, I, I get the impression that uh, Guillermo del Toro, who I'm always going to call Guillermo del Toro, yeah. is on our side in in how we feel about BB. So I think he's going to try to help us preserve him or, or figure out more. But that might be a taboo concept to, like, the rest of people who rely on this technology to live their daily whatnots. I wonder if it's because they just all don't want to acknowledge the idea of that him being... Uh, sentient. Yeah, because they all use it as tools. Still, there's... A, so do you think it's like kind of like an example of like you doth protest too much because that... he Like, Guillermo del Toro won't stop constantly at all times talking about how like the uh... BB's not a, a person? Yeah. He's like the one... He's the number one character in that camp in my head. Yeah, uh, yeah, he is. Who constantly say that. Nobody well, else even really makes a statement about that except him specifically. Well, he is in charge of that. Yeah. But I, but I do get the impression though that even if he doesn't feel that way about BB and he has no connection at all, I think he, his main motive might just to be to gain knowledge even, about an un. Like, and even then, you have the weird element of like how he's the, he's like the head developer dude for like tech that even he doesn't understand. So it's like even more confusing. Wait, I think I've, but I think he wants to understand. And I think he wants to understand, uh, like, the, the history of it, but I feel like it's not very openly yeah. talked about. So I think I, I don't know if, if I think Die Hardman's a bad character, or if, I, if maybe he's just someone who won't understand uh, Guillermo del Toro's motives. Meanwhile, the whole time we're talking about how, like... How, uh... Like, oh no, the BB's becoming... Oh no! Uh, <laughs> they're talking about how, like, BB's becoming a, a human or something. I'm like, isn't that good well yeah because he was like doomed to never live as a person and suddenly we're like well i think that's why he's like know. he's playing it up so much he's just like oh yeah no they're totally not that's not a baby what are you talking about blah blah blah, blah. i think i actually found it i think this is the secret oh no Ooh. Come out, come out. <laughs> Did I give him something? I think I need to have a package. and So we, I can't show the person. <gasps> Don't keep running. Die, uh... 
I was gonna say, Keith, don't like this place on the map Norman at Reedus. least. So it's called Luden's Fan. Ah, Luden's Fan, right there. Okay, you. Uh. Do you have a rope? Oh, no, you don't have anything. No, I don't have anything. Shit. He had a rope, it'd be cool. Fuck. I didn't bring anything, I just believed in myself. That's not enough. No, it's not enough at all. <laughs> Your belief in yourself counts for nothing. We really learned a lesson here. Hip. Hop, 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 hop. Yep. Ugh. <laughs> oh gosh, your poor bike. It's fine. I'll just put it back in some place when I'm done. It'll probably be character figurines for Luden's fan, of course. Hmm. Of course you want character figurines. There you go. I have one package now. I'm so light these days. So I got my power armor and everything on, but I'm just, I'm just running around like like this. Like I have one I currently have one package on my character. It's so it's so different and freeing. I know you you look like a normal person right now, yeah. which I'm not used to seeing. One thing is I'm I'm constantly in a state of uncertainty. So I want to bring every material with me I can on any on any run cuz I'm just I don't know who what I'll run into, you know what I mean? Like I never I never know when I'm going to get stuck in a boss fight with a whale. You know, I feel Which I guess I should just run from. Uh, Which kind of fixes that. It does fix that. Yeah. Because that was we had that one time where like I I got stuck in a fight for a very, very long time. Which admittedly paid off because the reward was that the game gave me my like level 3 power armor on accident. Because <laughs> Silhouette Norman Reed's just kind of gave it to me. <laughs> ceramic Norman Reedus. Yeah, ceramic Norman Reedus. <laughs> just kind of gave me better oh, armor than that. the one I already had, which is neat. Because I don't even. I, otherwise, I wouldn't even have access to it now. <laughs> you just walk up the hill, Keith. Can... No. <laughs> it's weirdly good at reversing up the hill. Vehicles aren't allowed uh, anyway. Well, I was just. This, the physics was really weird. That bike's left there by Strange Fruit. Like that song by Billie Holiday. <laughs> Alright. That's kind of creepy. Things are going well. There we go. We're having some interesting physics interactions today. There we go. There, I found a package for you, you fucko. You fucko? But I wanted to come back for this, because as far as I know, we don't have any reason to ever come back to this map, necessarily. No, I'm down so for I, it. I'm, I'm down to do it. all the weird things. Make delivery. Who are those people? Those character figurines. I should I should look at this item first before I throw it away. Can you look at it? It might give me context. Very popular in past times. That's that doesn't in past times. It doesn't help with anything. I no, it doesn't really tell us anything. It's just three figures standing there. I think I, I think that's a um wait. I, I you don't think it's a generic picture? I'm just gonna check really quick. No, nope. because because I think you have figure character. To, uh, sorry, figurines have showed up before already. Like yeah, we we like we found them before. I think it's just a generic picture. No, it's a weird Valkyrie angel person. All right. No, I just wanted to see if it was what I thought it was, but no, it's not. It's not like the video game Oscar or whatever. Okay, so this is a video game guy. It's <laughs> 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 Keith's laugh. Let's <laughs> 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 everyone do an impression of Keith. <laughs> 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 You're the delivery dude. Hey, Jeff Keeley. I'm just about giving up on you. You're looking I don't know old. How you do it? I really don't. Uh, respect, man. Seriously, respect. That is also not his voice. <laughs> he has a very high-pitched, nasally voice, and that character voice actor did not. I don't know who that is. Do you think you could get him to just do like a, a few lines, just for a bit? Well, you said about a lot of these people. <laughs> yeah, but 
He's, he doesn't have anything else going on. <laughs> About time I hopped in the whole chiral network bandwagon, am I right? Join the UCA and all that. You can help me do that, yeah? So I have no idea how many of these secret places there might be in the game. I'm like, confused now. But yeah, when you just pick up those random packages and deliver them to their destination, some of them are for places you haven't been yet. Apparently. And apparently places that, as far as I can tell, the story never takes us to. So, so just, just this, for guy's fun. Just, this guy's just really unimportant. Even less important than the preppers, apparently. Like, the story made us go to the old dude, <laughs> but not this guy. Yeah, no, that old dude was so important. So get shit on Jeff. <laughs> Keith, yeah. who, who is that? Is that another one over there? Did you see that? I want to look at that jigsaw screen more often. Did you see that? There was like another, like, weird empty square over there. No, I didn't see it. How do I look at that screen more? So that, that's Jeff Keeley. He runs the Game Awards, which is the sh that show just happened like a, a couple days, a few days ago. So when when this video comes out, it'll be like a week ago. Uh, it's I don't know. Maybe I don't even know if I could. I, I don't know if I could even bring myself to say it's the most prestigious Game Award. I have trouble giving myself, letting myself call any of them prestigious. They're really all really questionable, and like embarrassing. Like the Oscars or like. The, well, we, we talked. We, so we 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 had that whole rant during Out of Space about how like the Oscars themselves are like kind of questionable in their whole selection process. But at least they are like a council of people that vote on things and so on. Whereas, yeah, like, but they're all some, popularity. Whereas like some other some other things like the streamies are like a public vote, which is like the least interesting possible thing to ask for. Is like, what does everyone like the most? Oh, the thing that was financially successful the most. Wow, great. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for telling us the thing that made all the money is what everyone liked the most. Like it's just it's not it's not new information. Uh, I think that the VGA. I don't I actually actually don't know. I don't remember whether the TGAs are a uh, a public vote or if they're a, a group vote or what. Hey, take care out there. there. he is. Hey, for this to be the last time we meet, you know. So, he, so, so uh, I'm gonna need a moment to look over what you brought me, but I'll hit you back via mail after. He's gonna Thomas. look at it in front of us like everyone hey, else says. I'm hoping maybe you can help me out again. I don't want to be weird, but I, I feel you and I might have like a connection or something. While I appreciate all the work you're doing to extend the network, as of right now, it's not helping BB. Wow. I'm sorry, Sam. We're just gonna. Wow. <laughs> Wow, J wow. Wow, Guillermo. Just fucking going at me for finding Jeff Keighley in the woods, huh? I just got chastised for doing this right now. <laughs> Listen, I had a mission when I was starting the session. It's not my fault that a weirdly tense part of the story came up, even though the whole story is kind of tense and immediate. And Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> that, was, that's, that was cute. I, I can uh. see it. So, so Jeff Keeley has. Oh, look! This is all added to the net. <gasps> Can I find one? Oh, finally! Finally! So maybe finally! Maybe my chance. Uh, oh, so it, oh, it's like auto lit up. You don't even, you don't you don't even have to look for them. If it's looked up, if, if there is one well, in range, it just shows up. That's what I figured. That's what I was saying last time. Is that you just yeah. you didn't have one that was in range of you. <laughs> See, this is what this is what's like in real life, Keith. You, you can do it. But video games aren't scary. <laughs> they, yeah, they are. Real life is scary. Oh no, it took me into a danger zone. I don't want to be here anymore. Bye bye. <laughs> it took me into a way worse place full of monsters <laughs> without without a bike. That's a terrible idea. I'm leaving. So Jeff Keeley has a checkered, colorful, messy, weird past. Like many figures in the games industry do, uh, so he's he's known among other things as Dorito Pope, which is what I've shown I'm showing Stephanie images of right now, which is that it was like, it was kind of just like an image of the crass commercialization of all of video games and all the brand deals and all the other mess that comes into all of games Gamer stuff. Gamer fuel, yeah. So it's like it was this really sad image where he just looks as he has like. He had this like dead expression on his face because he ha he has like his eyes kind of just always have that kind of look to some extent. <laughs> he just, oh, that's me. And he's all, he's and he's a uh, he he, uh, <laughs> he just he just had like this dead expression and he was sitting. It was like a I think it was a Halo Three promotional thing, like way back then or something, or or Halo Reach or ODST or something. And like he's just sitting with like a fucking like altar of like Mountain Dew 
and another thing of like Doritos, like Red Zone Gamer Edition or some shit. Man, on another I remember next the heyday him. of that shit. And he's just completely surrounded by all this like brand deal stuff while also himself being uh, like this figure for that stuff. And he used to host the uh, Spike Video Game Awards. Which I think I think is gone, and now he does the Game Awards, which I don't think is affiliated with Spike or something. I haven't paid super close attention because I just get annoyed if I watch it, so I just don't watch it. I also don't even know. I haven't, I haven't been on TV for a while, so I actually don't yeah. even know if Spike's around anymore, to be honest. It yeah, might, I, have no it I might have no idea. Be someone out there is like, you idiot. But I think, I, think so T I think the TGAs are just an internet thing now. Like, you stream them on Twitch and stuff like that when they happen, and they happened a few days ago. But one thing that did, one thing that, uh, is probably the reason why he's in this game is because, uh, you're not a real base. Shit. I just want to put my thing back. Guess I'll just go all the way back. Uh, when K uh, Konami fired Kojima, uh, and, like, did the weird things, like, where Metal Gear Solid Five was winning... I don't know if it won Game of the Year or won some other award at the Game Awards. Uh, Jeff Keighley specifically called out Konami for the fact that uh, that K uh, Kojima was banned from coming to accept his own reward for his own game. Because that's because that's a thing that Konami did because they were they were just that petty about the whole yeah, thing. Yeah, I think I, I've lost a lot of respect for them in like the wake yeah. of this situation. It's like while that was all happening, uh, yeah, like. Around the time that, that PT and Metal Gear Solid 5 was happening and everything, uh, Kojima was banned from going to the Game Awards they, or really, they or really, really hate appearing him. in public about basically anything for the most it, part. It, it's amazing how, how hard they were on him. Yeah. So, uh, Jeff, Jeff Keighley became some kind of vague ally or something through some of that mess. And so it's just kind of that thing where, like, as a nod, all those different people all show up in this game. So you got Guillermo del Toro, Junji Ito, Norman Reedus. All the people that were, like, supportive. And, uh, and Jeff Keighley. So it's, it's all the people that were supporting him back then. Oh, goodbye to this bike. Nope. 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 Get down, nope. peasants. Nope. Don't touch Norman Reedus. Go fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself. How, how am I, I actually don't really understand this mini game or how it works. Am I supposed to keep mashing it or what, what do I do? Run, asshole. There we go. Is this the fastest you can run? You don't have any equipment on you. Oh, there we go. Nope. Uh, that's so far this time. Yes. Uh, I don't. I actually legit don't understand this part of the game. You, you might be doomed, Keith. Every every time this part happens, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. What I think I think, slip sliding around? I think I've basically failed every single time and eventually and get and then I I reach the whale state, or at least then I know the what whale, to do. The whale state. At that point, I know what to do because it's like okay, the whale has a radius. You escape that radius, and the whale fight ends. Threat level whale. But this part's just confusing. People had to model for this, which I think is really funny. I'm about to get KO'd or whatever. Crouch? Will they lose me again or something? Is that how this works? Is that what I'm supposed to do is leave the radius then crouch and kind of stealth a little bit? I can't stealth that well because without BB I don't know where they are. No, oh, BB. I can at least replenish my meter real quick. So does uh, Jeff Keighley do... is he involved in video games at all or does he just host the video game awards? He just hosts video game shows basically. Okay. So he, so he just is like a representative. Uh, at some point, I think he might have been some form of like games journalist or whatever, which, you know, whatever that means. Like only like one in like two hundred games journalists do any form of journalism, and the most a lot of a lot of it's like enthusiast press, which isn't really journalism, if you know what I mean. Yeah, no, I know. It's like it's just. A lot, of, a lot of games journalism is all about uh, basically promoting products by, in many cases, practically just copy-pasting their press releases directly into their... Like, a lot of these people just copy... Like, I, 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 like I was, I, I, I've been behind the scenes a little bit before, where I was part of the staff of a, of a game website for a bit. Uh, so it was a, Whoa, it was, Keith, look at you. No, it was, a, it, was, it, was, it was bottom of the barrel. It was... Uh, I was seeing behind the scenes stuff on true achievements while it was starting to have like a front page where they would do game reviews and try to cover news and stuff like that. 
as a because it it was eventually originally like a, an achievement tracking website, and I was seeing just how like it was just like they were just putting the press release on the front page as news basically like the 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 video game companies just email everybody like a, this PR email that's like. Here's a blur about the game, and here's the new screenshots to be excited about. And then, then they they just post straight to the front page, like, "Wow, 17 new screenshots about Dead Rising 3 or whatever." And it's like, "What what are you doing? <laughs> let them let them market their own shit. Like, why do you need? Why are you? Why are you just marketing for them explicitly? And that's it. Like, it's not even time for the game review, and you don't even you don't even not even doing like a hands-on preview where it's like, wow, yeah, we're doing a got to sit down with a new build of Dead Rising 3, and here's what we think about what we saw. It's literally like, here's some screenshots they gave us, I guess. This is news, right? And then yeah, like a uh, the uh, there's basically no actual journalism that usually happens in that field, so it's mostly just product reviews, and it's very laissez-faire product review stuff, or it's really very surface level. I don't know, you've read, you've read game reviews, they're disappointing. Yeah, yeah I, mean, I mean, there are some like that are written well, but usually they're written by uh, like people who are passionate that aren't like employed by big yeah. companies that do it. And, and then half, it, half them are just freelancers that don't even have any real qualifications as far as I can tell. Well, like, I mean, uh, what qualifies a critic, really? Well, I mean, like, as a writer. Okay, <laughs> like, as somebody, yeah. As yeah. somebody who writes, who is supposed to write public-facing stuff, like... The one that I always think is funny is if you look into how many plagiar... Like, like how many instances of plagiarism there are in mm -hmm. game reviewing. People just copy and paste other people's game reviews, and those are, like, the ones the big company uses. They use little novice reviews that are actually written well, and then they copy-paste them, change yeah. a couple words, and then throw them in their magazines. Or the entire review is, like... Bot written. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's like fill in the blank, or like, um, or it's like they there was like they ask him if they actually played the game, and like a lot of times they haven't <laughs> really. And it's it's fun. I I liked watching some YouTube videos of instances like that. Some interesting stuff. Trying to go connect to more places. Wait. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm mhm. Mm mhm. That's a, isn't that a contradiction? Make BB feel better by connecting up nearby facilities with your Cupid to increase chiral density. I just did that and he was like, Sam, stop. That's You're wasting our time. Maybe... It was the wrong one. <laughs> yeah, he's not important enough. <laughs> what? I guess that... You gotta connect more old people. We don't need, we don't need people that people recognize. Whatever, I'll go back to where I was anyway. No, I don't wanna go to people's safe houses. Why are these all on the list? Yeah, Mountain Knot City, I believe, is where I was when we left off. Gosh, quit Hi. doing that, lady. Spooky. I'm here to help. Hey, everything's gonna work out, okay? But right now, I need you to focus. Think of where you want to go. That was a different. I like how that was just like a different angle. Like, yeah. I don't know. But it's no, a nice I, touch. But no, I, I remember. Being, I remember being in the back end, to some extent, and just kind of being frustrated with elements of like, just be, like real, kind of just realizing along the way that it's like this is just people who like the medium, kind of doing the PR work for them, as opposed to like being critical particularly or really having anything to say about it. Oh, it's like something it's like not actually opinion based yeah. or like it's just like this exists. Like proper like proper like proper journalism that isn't just like, wow, I, I did I went undercover and, and found the evils of the industry or whatever and here you go. Like a, like that's not the only form of journalism. Like there's stuff like what Jacob Geller does. Like all those like I've shown you some of, the, of Jacob Geller's videos before. He did like the Ape Out video yeah. and some other stuff and like he writes for websites. And it's like, and he writes those kinds of videos, like those kinds of scripts for websites too. And it's like, that's journalism too. Like these kinds of like thought pieces and like, like actual interrogations of art, which is what this is supposed to be about. But like so much of it's like, wow, look at all the polygons of the new thing. Here's the press release about how this game's going to have 60 frames per second. And it's like, oh, okay, cool. 